I felt that Jung should tell me what I should do, whether I should write a book, whether I should uh, get a divorce, what I should do. And he wouldn't. And so I got mad at him. And uh, I uh, said, why is everybody so mean to me? And he said, why are you so mean to everybody? So I stormed out. And uh, you got what I said there. I said to him, why is everybody so mean to me? And he said, why are you so mean to everybody? That was the trigger point. I was gone for a year. And I wrote him, oh, I don't know. Every now and then I'd sit down at the typewriter and write him what a son of a bitch I thought he was. And how when I first got to Europe, Europe, everyone thought he was a charlatan. I thought he was too. And, and uh, uh, I didn't, uh, he was the most conceited, vain man. And, and uh, I, you know, I really had a great time. And, um, and you sent all these sent letters? Sent the letters, of course I did. And I thought, I hope he drops dead of a stroke. And uh, I felt very good. I didn't, <laughs> I just felt fine. When I can get mad, my, I, f I can lose five pounds just by getting mad. It's <laughs> just the adrenaline goes, and I just think, you know, it's the opposite of poor little me. And it's, I don't care, they let the wall go and stuff it up. I don't care what happens to me. And um, then one morning I woke up, and I began to laugh. I thought, for God's sake say what's been going on here, what a jack at you. And suddenly I realized, sure, he really hit it. And so I phoned Miss Schmidt, Fraulein Schmidt, and asked if I could have an appointment. And she laughed and said, oh, yes, she said, Professor Jung told me to save some time for you. He thought you'd be calling shortly. I, I, I guess that uh, I thought before I got mad at him, I thought that he would have a, some kind of a solution to life's problems. Then I found I had to find the solution myself, which I suppose is, was what he did. Mm. Brings you to that point. 